Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Kate and this is a Fountain Pen Awakening. As you can see, this is my birthday stash. Yes, party people, but at the time that we are filming this, um, it is my birthday, so my solar return and Mercury is retrograde. So, as you all know, um, it can play havoc with electrics. So let's hope we can get this through, you know, without a hitch so welcome again everyone thanks for watching if you like my content please give us a thumbs up and let's talk birthday stash yay look at all this lovely stuff so first things first i'm going to talk about my fountain pen so i got this for my birthday this is the all star the white silver which is uh the newest edition i think it's the limited edition or special edition for 2022 um it's all aluminium and, and <laughs> i love the twisby so much i bought myself a twisby mini and in the black and silver because i thought oh why not that's a cutie patootie and then um story about the pilot i had to get myself uh another one because my goldie had fallen on the ground and um and the actual plastic feed had snapped uh, sorry again about the noise guys i'm filming outside as you know crows birds traffic and um, just people coming in and out uh, and yeah so with my goldie practically what happened was it fell on the ground or on the carpet and for some reason or other, I don't know what happened, but the actual feed snapped. So that's that plastic thing. It snapped in half. So I thought that there was no problem with the actual nib. And so the gentleman that I bought the pen off, he very kindly sent me a, a, a new feed. And then I, I put it all together, but obviously the fines, which are those little prongs on, on, the, on the nib, they were not they misaligned because it was all scratchy so shout out to um the guy from penn city he was super cool he sent me that free of charge because i've been told that with pilot unfortunately if it goes down they don't really sell any spare parts or they don't have any sort of extras the only thing that they will replace is a medium or a fine nib you know like the whole piece here but as you guys know i was in love with the calligraphy medium nib from it so and they don't sell that separately and also the guy said that if i want to get that fixed i'll have to send it all the way to japan and it'll cost me more to get it fixed than actually to buy a brand new pen so henceforth here's lizard this is kind of like a bronzy one and um so this is my newest addition to the collection and what was super cool was that both this and my mini Twisby arrived yesterday, just in time for today. That was super cool. They sent it to me express. It was one usually, you know, normal postage. This arrives within the week up to Queensland from Melbourne. You know, I think he just express posted it because of all the rigmarole. So that was super nice. So shout out to um, Penn City. This on the other hand is my birthday present from my cousins. It's a narwhal. And it is a narwhal skull kill or skull kill. I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it, but it's a beautiful pen. And the reason I got this color, the story behind this is I wanted to get the, um, the gold one from them. So they've got like this, um, I think it's the Key West series and they do a gold and a blue and I was in love with the gold. And then I saw this and I wanted this because it's kind of like a beautiful teal swirly whirly. And the reason why being is because I've got myself Galen Leather Handmade um, and Hand Stitched Journal Cover. So this is what I wanted for my birthday, that one and that one. The journal, now it's a bit thin because the actual journal that I've got in here is a thin one. I'm waiting on my thick one to arrive. And this goes perfectly well. Look how beautiful it goes with. So that's kind of my birthday haul. Um, and then of course I bought myself, you know, <laughs> the Twisby Mini, <laughs> which is super cool. And then I've also got all these inks. So practically this is the Neptune, this is the Neptune's necklace. And it's very similar to my, very similar to my leather wood that I got, 
Um, so this part of my, this came with my journal, this one here. Then this one here is the Federation Peak, which is a dark ash grey I I ordered with my pilot. Um, I've got all these samples as well that I've been trying out. My lightest samples are from um, the pilot um, the Aroshi Zuku uh, inks. So I got the Fuji Gaki, which is the winter persimmon. And I got uh, the Yuki, the Yuyake, which is the, the sunset. And those, so I've been playing around with inks and swapping them out. And I remember last time we spoke, remember how I said I was going to ink um, my Twisby? I was going to put the, um, the Yurumekaseki in here. But then when I put it in here, I didn't really like how it wrote. I swapped it out, put it in the shoal kill. But anyway, best writer ever. Fell in love. Love it, love it, love it. So I thought I've got to get another one. What am I going to get? I didn't like, you know, all the other colours. So I just got myself the little mini. And in here I have put... Um, I've put the, the pilot one. I've put this one here. I've put the sunset in here. In my little mini. A little mini. And this one you have to post because it is quite tiny in comparison so when you post it practically it's the same length but if you don't post it and it's kind of like a bit tiny whiny see see how tiny that is I can still write with it like I can still write with it but it's more comfy when I post it so yeah fell in love and I thought oh my god what am I going to do now am I going to buy all the Twisbys in the world and I thought no no, just buy two, buy a small one and that one. And then I've uninked some of my pens because obviously, you know, I've had, like, I've uninked about three pens now because I've got these new ones. And yeah, so this is the new um, special edition from Lamy. It's just like the All Star. And it's All Star because it's aluminium and um, it's got sort of like that clear plastic, sort of, you can see all the feed through there. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty, pretty cutie patootie and um, happy with that. And I've un uninked my um, Safari Vista for the simple fact that now I've got these two demonstrator pens and to play with. Whoopsie daisies. So I thought, oh, well, that's a bit redundant. I've uninked Strawberry um, and then Goldie, obviously, I can't. I, um, I have, I'm not using it at the moment, but what I can do is I can switch out this between the two when, when I get the feeling to use the gold. So I've uninked some pens, I've inked up some others, I've played around with inks. I didn't like the Seki, the Yurumaki Seki ink in my, um, in my Twisby. I thought um, she deserved a bit of colour because obviously of the beautiful, you know, iridescent colouring. So I've inked her up with the um, Lamy Cartridge Violet. Put that in there and my other ink in here i had the avocado because i got in this stash i got the dusk and the um which is from van diemen's and i got uh robert oss's avocado which is sort of like a sort of a nice sort of like green green gray greeny so i got those two to sort of try out with the lamy and then my shoe peel I'll show you the shawl kill. Um, it's got a massive nib. Um, so with the shawl kill, I was a bit unsure of what I um, wanted to ink her up with. So I got the marine, which is kind of like a teal colour. But in the meantime, what happened was I got, um, I got the Neptune necklace, which is a bit like the colour is kind of like a, an olivey honey color which was similar to my leather wood honey and and I got to put in Goldie but then Goldie broke so I put it now in my Lamy and then with my um with um the Yurumakiseki ink it was kind of like gray as well which when you put on the paper and I'll show you now so when you put on the paper, it kind of has this really interesting um, colouring effect. It sort of starts off and then it goes a bit lilac, but then it actually dries this kind of grey. And now my final selection is this now. So practically I have put 
the Neptune necklace in the Lamy. I've got my uh, Rul d'Anka, which is kind of like an antique pinky in um, my cream. Where is she? Creamy, 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 if I can get her out. Yeah, so my creamy. Get all them out so we can move them around. Um, this is the avocado. So that's a Robert Oster avocado, which looks super nice. And I've now put them in my shawl kill because I thought out of all the inks that I tried, I like this one the best and it's kind of like a matchy matchy. With that, um, that's my violet in my Twisby. And that's my other mini Twisby with the sunset in it. And that one there, which is my pilot, what I've put in here, remember how in my last video I talked about the Wine Divine, the Diamine Wine Divine, which is meant to be a shimmer ink. And I thought it was kind of like a dark brown, but I think it's actually a really dark burgundy by the looks of things. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. So yeah, I've just been having heaps of fun, heaps and heaps of fun with my new pens and swapping out all the inks and trying new things and, you know, and that's the thing I wanted to say, guys. Absolutely, with fountain pens, the best fun is inking them up and then cleaning them and getting your little syringe out and, you know, cleaning them all and inking them up back up again and, um, you know, exploring the pens. And that's, to me, half the fun of it. It's also, it's not just the writing experience or, you know, it's the playing around with the pen itself. It's the exploration of the inks. It's it's also, you know, different pens do have reading, really different writing experiences, um, you know, and also the nibs, playing around with the nibs, and also improving my writing, you know, and, and, and trying out and practicing. And the more you write with them, obviously kind of the more, you know, the nibs sort of loosen up a bit and you break them in and they get better and better and better as you write. Different inks have different properties and give you different kind of feedbacks on the page. Different, you know, papers too have different impact on the writing and the inks. Um, it's just fascinating to me and it's just relaxing because it's like a meditation, to be honest. So super fun. Um, I've been just having heaps of fun doing all that. I just wanted to share with you my latest um, impressions and the fact that it's my birthday today. And um, cheers to me. And thank you everyone, my family and my friends who have contributed to buying me my pens, which allowed me a little bit more funds than buy myself. This little baby here, <laughs> this little baby here. <laughs> um, and continue my fountain pen collection so i'm going to leave you with i need to get on with celebrating my birthday i've got a bottle of, of rose bubbles in the fridge and i'm going to make myself some chicken burgers um my manager and and very good friend uh will take me to breakfast on friday morning and i'm just going to take it easy because this is my weekend and um I'm just going to celebrate and relax. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you have a great week. See you in my next one. Ciao.